flag, he weighed in 134 and one half pounds. This young professional is perfect in his campaign inside the ring. 17 bouts, 17 victories, including 14 big wins coming by way of knockout. He is the undefeated lightweight, the fighting prize of Victor Hill. Garcia in the red trunks. Jose Lopez in the white and black were scheduled for 10. Jose come right out and try to establish his jab and his presence. That's going to be key if he's going to have success early in this fight. And Ryan Garcia fighting for the first time as a dad. Had a newborn daughter just last week, Riley Garcia. How do you think that'll affect him? Well, it's going to affect him in a positive way because not only is he fighting for himself, he's fighting for his daughter and his daughter's future. Nice double jab for Jose Wonderboy Lopez. Both guys seem to be warmed up pretty good. They're throwing punches in combinations. Nobody's coming out trying to get warmed up. They're throwing more than one punch from the gate. I think you'd agree the next step for development for Garcia will, will be how he handles adversity when he gets in real trouble, which we haven't seen from him. Do you think Lopez is the guy that can put him in some trouble tonight? Yep, and we've seen a little bit of aggressiveness by Lopez now, but you want to see a lot of that from Lopez because that's the way he fights. He crowds you, he comes in, and he's not reckless. Yes, this is going to be a big test tonight for Garcia. Lopez trying to get inside, even though he has that three-inch reach advantage. Excellent defense for both guys. They're, they're, nobody's getting an easy shot here. Everybody's going to have to work for it. Both fighters is known, known for good defense, and that's what you see right now. Garcia has so much going on outside the ring. Obviously, his newborn baby daughter. He has a YouTube show. He's done photo shoots for Team Vogue, Amber Crombie, and Fitch. The question is, can he handle all the outside stuff and not lose the edge inside the ring? Well, he's throwing four or five punch combinations inside, which I love to see early in the fight to warm his arms up, to warm his mind up. And look for more combinations from Ryan Garcia as the fight goes on. A couple left hands landing there for Lopez, who does not appear to be intimidated at all from the flash. Well, Lopez is going to show everyone that he's going to be a pesky fighter. He's going to be a pesky demeanor towards Garcia. Uh, he's going to be there. He's not going to run. He's not going to try to avoid anything. He's going to try to make those exchanges to get something in. We got off the back of the head. Whoa, he nearly went down at the bell. There for Reynoso and Garcia, but a nice flurry to end round one for Garcia, which certainly won in the round. The instructions Garcia got in the corner was to keep his hands up after he threw a combination. And that's what he's doing, throwing rapid combinations and not leaving his head up to beat counter. We'll leave that left hand out. One of the things Garcia's been working on is his defense, Bernard. And let me tell you, Lopez see something in previous fights where as long as he continues to pressure Garcia, he can get some punches in because that's been the knock on Garcia. If you continue to stay close with no punches, you can have some success. Garcia started boxing at the age of seven. His first love was baseball, but he didn't like the team concept. He wanted everything to rely on his own shoulders. If I lose, it's because of me. If I win, it's because it. of out. me. Suéltelo, suéltelo. Let him go, Ryan. That's you. Let him go. Let him go, Ryan. Right now, two rounds in a 10-round fight. I have it split one round apiece. But 
No, Garcia has to continue. Ryan has to continue to throw that jab from a distance. If he tries to fight close, I think it's to his disadvantage. Oh, a good one, too. Straight right hand on the button from Garcia. And Lopez took it well, but he did grab. He was smart enough to hold on for a second or two. Can't eat too many more of those, Lopez. Oh, there's one right on the ear. You see the distance of Ryan Garcia. He's, he's measuring with the left hand, and then he comes over the top with the straight right. That's the punch that's going to be effective. If Lopez doesn't find any way to get through that, he's going to be in trouble as the fight goes on. I can tell you this, it's extremely loud inside this event center. 99% of the people here cheering for Ryan Garcia. Suéltelo, suéltelo. Jose, suéltelo, Jose. Ryan Garcia has an old soul and a young body. He rolls with that shoulder not to get hit inside. And that's a really veteran move. Oh, good uppercut. Lopez rattled a little bit. He may be ready to go. Garcia let his hands fly. Another right hand. Uppercut misses. Lopez needs to put his hands up. And he's down. That's a great combination by Garcia. Let his hands go and not stop him until he gets him down. He barely made the round. The count. Hey, don't bend your head down. And that's the end of the round. The bell saved him out of this round. Some concern now in the corner of okay. Lopez. Are they going to stop it? They do! Ryan Garcia, the hype train rolls on!